Good morning, my dear student. Good morning, and then welcome back to school 2020-2021. For today, September 1, 2020, I will be giving you your science orientation for your subject with me in science for grade 9, grade 10, grade 11, senior high school, which is life on earth, uh, science and for the first semester and general biology 1 for first semester of the senior high school grade 12. Now why this is needed because here we will be talking or I will be giving you an orientation about your requirements in my subject okay and then uh, the books and other references and then third is your assessment or your grading system that we will be using and then you have your attendance also because uh, other than you are there at home for the modular, it is very difficult for the teachers to know if you're actually present or doing your activity or do you, doing your work. So in order for me to assess with your attendance, I have to check it ba based on your uh, attendance on the performance and your uh, live uh, likes during our live conferences and when I am posting on uh, on our page no that would be your your attendance per se and then we also uh, we'll be talking also about your supplementals supplementals will be your online edit instructions for example this one the one that we're doing right now uh, the pre-recorded okay pre-recorded discussions that I will be doing from time to time until this uh, modular class will end okay that is what we call supplementals other than your supplementals I will be also asking you your Gmail account or if you will have your USB for those who want to have supplemental videos discussions or videos from other sources I can give you so it would be easier for you to go on with our modular class and the last one number six is others other than that no uh, how the others would include your how you can contact me or how you can reach me in case you have inquiries or you have your questions or any con uh, misconceptions or uh, something that you don't know or you are not oriented with okay so that's it yeah. to come in, it's spring and two minutes yeah. okay one two three Okay, first is the requirements, no? Number one, attendance through. Attendance on time passing. Attendance would mean, rather, A, on time passing of fully accomplished science activity or worksheets. Okay. How do I assess your attendance through a science and activity? So, the activity, because you are all from grade 9, grade 10, 11, and 12, you're old enough to know when the teacher would need your performances, especially your written uh, worksheets, when it will be delivered or when it will be given back to the teachers. Because in that way, I would know if you are doing or you are performing your activity sheets. By that, I will know that you are present. Number B, like the post and making a comments on class discussion over the class Facebook page. Okay, every now and then or most of the time, starting last week, no, during your orientation with your teachers, I'm also having my orientations with you in science that in every post that I will be posting in our science page, how do I know that you are present? Of course, by when you press the button like which means you are you were able to read the post and when you make a comment it says that you are informed or you have read the whole post that i did okay so that's that's the one that's why in science as you know you have your uh, we have your science uh, page which is science tw uh, science 2020 2021 geek I hope I am correct. So it's that one. So you have to be a member of that private page, okay? So there are house rules in that page as well. Then participating in any online class discussion and conferences over Facebook or YouTube, which is very important. Most of the time, like what I mentioned earlier, because I cannot reach you 
Okay, so it's very difficult also for me to reach you because uh, some of you are farther and some of, some of you are uh, hard to reach in different barangays. So the easier way for me to reach you is through online. So every time I am posting, so I require you to like, okay, to make your comments. At the same time here, you should participate in an online class conference, okay? I will be, for example, in a day, I will post an hour. And then I will ask, for example, grade 12, on this, on this particular time, I will be live. So I will be checking your attendance as well. For example, in a day, for example, on Monday in the morning, I will be posting requiring the grade 9 to be online. But it doesn't require everybody because I know not all have internet connection at home. So those only who can participate through online. But the rest, I still would record uh, any discussion so that later on when you have connections or from somebody else you can still catch up the online pre-recorded discussion okay so which means you have to be uh, online on specific day but actually I will be uh, posting ahead of time okay third activity sheets should be fully accomplished neatly so you know me already especially the grade 10 grade 11 and grade 12 except for the grade 9 because i'm not your teacher at grade 8 now 10 11 and 12 you know that and every erasure means something for me okay because science is an organized body of knowledge therefore our activity sheets should be should be neatly uh, accomplished okay without any markings and unnecessary markings without any unnecessary drawings or whatsoever okay you're not posting anything there okay you have only to answer it neatly as possible okay number three passing of oh no uh let's go back here to letter b you may add additional papers for answers and further explanation if the space in the activity sheets is not enough so it's allowable there are times that your explanations your uh, presentations of outputs uh it's not enough with the papers that we are providing you. You can add uh, additional papers, for example, a white sheet of uh, clean bad paper. Then you can make your uh, answers or discussions in there. That is allowable, okay? And then, number three, passing of performance product, okay? A, should be submitted on time and date agreed. So, for today, for example, uh, you were already given, your module is with you already, and your activi activity sheets is already with you. Therefore, the passing of that ma uh, your activity sheets as agreed is every Thursday. In case there are situations wherein uh, the activity would consume not only 60 minutes, no? It will, or on, on the whole week. Therefore, you can message me that, sir, my activity sheets is not done. Therefore, I will pass this one on the next week. You have to inform me earlier. But I assume that in every week, you only have one activity. Therefore, all the activities within the week should be finished. Okay. So, that's it. Pila kami, Mr. Can you continue na ako, sir? Bali, eight, tanan. Di post ni mo? Ah. Ah, so may post mo gigamit. Aray, dress, dress, dress. Okay. Next, please. One, two, three, go. Okay, so the books that we have now, the books that is required with you, so you already know, so our books came from Phoenix Publishing, and it's a very good one. I have been using that one for the grade 9 all the way to grade 12 are, be, are very familiar with the books that we have which is exploring life through science okay this is the book of the grade 9 then the grade 10 the same no uh anyway it's been uh, uh having a number there so grade 9 grade 10 then the first semester of grade 11 is the earth earth science and then for the first semester also of the grade 12 is biology 1 okay okay so we have the assessment and grading system now uh, you will be graded in science in two ways. We have your formative and your summative. Your formative includes all your written activity in your activity and worksheets. That is your formative, which means this is what you will do every week. 
every week, uh, you have to do that. That is the formative. Now, your summative test includes your post-test, your long quizzes that will be added to your activity sheets. Then you have your also chapter uh, tests, uh, quiz, which is via the worksheets, and of course, your performance task. So again, you will have your grade 2, grade 2 assessments. You have your formative and your assessment. So where does your performance fall? Your performance will fall on your summative assessment. While the rest of the written activities is considered as your formative test. Now, in science, grade 9 all the way to grade 12 knows this already. That in science, we have 40, 40, and 20% the total of your grade. Okay? In your a quarterly grading system now 40% is your written work covers from your mostly from your formative and if we have summative test or you have your uh, post test via your worksheets then 40% is your performance 40% I would require that every written uh, activity that you have or experimentations that we have or also your participation in the online Okay, if you will make your comment, make your likes, or if you will uh, subscribe and then make your comments out of the post, that is considered a sure summative or part of your performance test. And then the quarterly assessment is 20%. This 20% will only be announced to you when it will happen because in the modular class, it is not required yet for you to come because of the COVID-19 protocol. So it will be announced to you later uh, through uh, the Polinian page, okay? So later, okay. How do I get your attendance? Of course, this is the one. Your attendance based on your class schedule every day, I will monitor you through. How can I monitor you that you are present every day with your science activities? One. On time passing of fully accomplished science activity worksheets every week. Remember, during orientation, we told your parents, okay, your parents knows that, that every Thursday you will uh, pass your activity sheets. Every Friday you will get your activity, new activity sheets for the week, which means if you will pass on time, so meaning you are present. Now, B. Like the post and making a comments on a class discussion over the class page, Facebook page is considered as your attendance. So every time I will be posting, I will make a mention there, grade 9, grade 10, 11, or 12, where the specific post will be uh, taking the attention to, for example, grade 9, attention, this one. If you will like and then comment, I know that you are present. If you will not make any comment for the rest of the week, I would consider you to be absent. Okay, that's part of it. Because how would you know if you are not lie, if you don't like, if you don't post your comments? So meaning you are not participating in that discussion in any way. Okay, B, uh, letter C, participating in any online class discussion and conferences over Facebook or YouTube. So which means in every post, again, you have to like, you have to make your comment. If it is on Facebook, okay, the requirement there is you have to like, you have to comment, and of course, if you don't have Gmail account, you will not, uh, you cannot subscribe. Therefore, you have to subscribe and to make your Gmail account, okay? Every time you make your comment, it should be that you are my subscriber in YouTube, okay? Next, supplementals. Your supplementals will be through number one. How do I reach you through supplementals? Is A, we have our group page, uh, Facebook page, okay? Which is SPSM Science Geek 2020 2021. So everybody should be a member of that page from grade 9, grade 10, 11, and 12. You should be a member of our Facebook page. Page. Again, SPSM Science Geek 2020 2021. Another another uh, way is through your through my YouTube account. Okay. In my YouTube, for example, this one. This will be posted, of course, in YouTube because I cannot post this in Facebook because of copyright claims. Otherwise, 
it, it will be a disgrace. It will not be done properly, okay? So I will be posting this one in the pay in my YouTube account because I have an account and it's a legal or a legit way to reach you or to post any videos that I have. And the last one is through emails or your Gmails, okay? Which is also very, very important. Why? Because every time you have your Gmail, in case you have performance that cannot be accommodated on your test papers or your activity sheets rather, you can send it to me through email. Or if you need supplemental, sir, I need this one, I need a further discussion, I need videos, I need PowerPoint presentation, I can send it to you through Gmail, your Gmail account, or through email. Okay. okay. So that would be all for today. Thank you for listening over to our my science orientation. Okay. Thank you and have fun in science. So everybody knows me already. So I hope you fully understood or you fully grasped what I have uh, recorded today, and it will be posted later on. So again. Because this will be posted in YouTube, what you will do, like, you have to subscribe, and make your comment, okay? Thank you, and have a good day. Thank you, bye.